15. All my wrestlers are lined up over here in the locker, uh, checking their weight. We got a big weight chart to weigh in. I go behind that JT door, I get dressed. All right, all my guys after they weigh in, they come out and they lay up on that far <laughs> section of the mat. They meet up against the wall. When I come walking out at 2.30, I promise, when I set my feet on that mat, when I step right through that opening, and I put my feet to the mat, you know what, guys? There is absolutely no more talking. None, I promise. You don't believe me? Ask, ask him. All right. When I step on the mat, some days you only say anything, I step on the mat. You know what happens? My captain, this year my captain, his name was Alex Marinelli. Four-time state champ, best wrestler in the state of Ohio. Got a full ride, went to the University of Iowa. All right. My, he was probably my best wrestler. The best wrestler in the state, best wrestler in the country. You know what he does, guys? When my foot steps on that mat, he gets up and he starts walking. He starts walking. You know what? Everyone else gets behind him and they start following him. They walk two or three laps. No words are said. You know what they're thinking about, guys? They're thinking about three things. They're thinking about number one, winning the state title so we can put more of these black banners up in this room. First thing we always train for. Second thing we train for, guys, is to beat St. Ed's. Why we dislike that school immensely. Why St. Ed's is big schools? We're medium-sized schools. We have three divisions. Then you've got small schools. Small schools, Logan and Hunter Steeper. They wrestle Monroeville, real small school. My school, I think we've got 650 kids in my whole high school. All right, we're division two. Big division, big division. All right, St. Ed's, they have 1,200 boys in their school. All right, they're division one. Whoever wins that dual meet between Graham and St. Ed's is the king of the state. We've kicked their butt the last four years, so we've been the king of the state. Third thing we train for, guys, is we train for a team that I really dislike. They are called Blair Academy, and they are from the dreaded state of New Jersey. All right, I, you know what, last year, Blair Academy and Graham wrestled right inside there, in that, in that building in there, and we beat him come down the last match, my little sophomore, Joey Sanchez, at 152, that was the last match, beat their kid, six to four, we won the dual meet 27-24. All right, how Blair won the national title? I don't know. We end up being ranked third in the country, they won the national title. But guys, those are three things we train to do. I promise. Win state titles, beat St. Ed's, and then if we beat Blair, I know we can make a run at those white banners right there, national champions. Anyway, guys, the first time we ever beat St. Ed's, all right, was 10 years ago, and we beat him with this move right here. I love this move, all right? We're going to change a little bit up here on this front headlock, and then we'll get back to it. Here's how I yell the move out. Snap, left hand front headlock. Step back, Kobe. All right, a kid named Kobe boy that pinned, pinned his way to a state title with this move. Pinned his guy in the state title with this move. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to snap, and I'm going to come to a left hand front headlock. Everyone else in here, pretty much everyone's front headlocking with their right hand. This time, guys, I'm going to do this. I'm going to snap, and I'm going to come right here to a left hand front headlock. Do not make this difficult. Instead of my right hand being on the chin, my left hand's going to be on the chin. Watch. Here, snap, I'm just going to snap with this collar tie, I drop my left hand in, snap, left hand front headlock. I got a kid right now on my team, guys, that my whole team does it, but I got a kid that's a freak of nature with this. His name is Mitch Moore, two-time state champ, he'll be a junior, he's going to be the next four-time state champ in Ohio. All right, loves this move. Hey, notice guys, I'm in a position that some people call the clamp, pinch, or football top. I'm right here in this position right here. Can you guys see that? Right hand on the, on the collar tie, left hand right here on the chin. My elbows are in. You know what Max got? Max got both my elbows. Once I snap to this left hand front headlock, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to plant my right foot, step back, and I'm going to shove him away. Crucial step here. Step back, I shove him away here. I just don't let go of his head. All right? Once I step back here and shove him away, all right, drop your hands real quick, Max. He's just dropping his hands so you can see a little better. From here, guys, I don't let his head up. He's always trying to lift his head up. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to have my bicep and shoulder cover his head until my chin gets to the back of his neck. And my chin, guys, is going to turn and get uh, perpendicular with me. It's going to be right here on his neck. See where my chin is, guys? And my left hand is still right here on his chin. All right. Here. Post, 
Step back. Don't let his head out, guys, because I'm covered. My chin covers his neck right here. Also notice, guys, I let go of the collar tie, and I'm going to penetrate in, and I'm going to pick this knee. Hey, guys, the, penetra the penetration step I'm going to hit is the angle knee drop. Remember we did that for the head inside single? If I do this, and then change direction, I'm doing the exact same thing right here. Snap. Left hand front headlock. Post. Step back, shove him away, and then I explode. As my chin comes to the back of his neck, watch this penetration. I'm doing the angle knee drop. My arm comes through, and I'm going to pick this leg right here. Hey, guys, I'm not going to drive back that direction. I'm going to drop him right here to his right hip. How do I do that, guys? I'm pulling down. Watch my elbow. Getting tight on that. Getting real tight. I drop him back right there to his hip. Once I hit his hip, guys, here's what I love about the move. My right elbow is inside of his left elbow. I come up, I come right here to a cement job, and I drive right on top. I still have his head, and I pin. Guys, I'm telling you, probably in the last five years, we got more pins off this move from this position than any other move. Can you Love tell, the move. Can you it's a cool. Can you tell the story? No. I got story yes. started. Here we go. Snap. Left hand front headlock. Post the right leg, step back, and then I explode, guys. Here, cover his head till my chin gets there. Angle knee drop. Once I pick this knee, elbow comes down. Here. A lot of guys ask me, Coach, why don't you go to a cradle? Why? I guarantee it. A cement job is much tighter than a cradle and drive on top. Um, oh, here's a big mistake I'm going to see a lot of you guys make. Just like on the cross angle. When you guys go to step back, you're going to pull him down. Um, when you got like the chin, um, like you remember the last thing or how we went like under? Yeah. Why can't we do that? But it's just a different move. It's just a different move. We can do a cross ankle pick. This one, guys. Guys, I like this move better than cross ankle pick. Honestly, I do. Guys, you know what? If I'm getting beat in a match. I see a lot of guys. I see a lot of guys that are losing the match. They try to shoot the headlock. And they come out. and You know what happens usually? They miss and they give up too. All right. I'm getting beat. I go like this. Ugh. I miss the headlock and I get taken down. If I don't get this move, I don't get in trouble. I think the worst case scenario I can do is get a stalemate. But here's the big mistake I'm going to see a lot of you guys make is this. You're going to snap right here. You're going to front headlock. And you're going to post here. As you go to step back, you're going to pull him down. You're going to do this right here. Guys, my hand is trapped right here between my chest and his back. Can you guys see that? I can't shoot it through. I have to create space. I have to do this right here. Step back, create the space, and then I explode right to it. The story I think you're talking about, who asked me to tell the story. Guys, first time we wrestled, or fourth year we wrestled St. Ed's. Guys, they kicked my butt the first year, they kicked my butt the second year, they kicked my butt the third year. I get so frustrated because we work out twice a day. We work out Sunday, we lift weights, we work out Sunday night, we drill. During season, Monday, I practice Monday night. Tuesday, Tuesday night. Wednesday, Wednesday night. Thursday, I get Thursday off because we're cutting weight. Roll really far over, I may even come in Thursday. That is eight practices. Eight practices a week we do. You know what St. Ed's did, guys? You know what they do? Monday, Tuesday, at practice, Wednesday, at practice, Thursday. They got four practices. We got eight. All right, they were still beating us. I said, while they're sleeping, though, we're going to catch them. Every year, guys, we just kept getting closer and closer. They just, like, honestly, I think they just had better athletes than what I have. Next thing I know, guys, the first year we beat them, we beat with this move right here. The dual meet, guys, St. Ed's. The dual meet, if this is the mat, usually Graham's over here, St. Ed's is over here. You guys look me? For some reason, I have no idea why that here, but they had St. Ed's on this side, they had Graham here. So we kind of have, we kind of have this like an L. And they had the coaching chairs, my coaching chairs right beside St. Ed's bench. Why? I have no idea. I don't like sitting that close to St. Ed's. But anyway, right before the dual meet, the assistant coach says, hey, St. Ed's guys, bring it up. Here's what Graham's going to do. And I'm like a little spy, I'm listening. Here's what he said. He goes, they're going to snap you down, they're going to um, try to get your chin with their left hand, and then they're going to shoot through, they're going to pick this leg. Whatever you're going to get that leg. So I heard that, I go over and I go, Graham, guys, bring it up. Today's the day we're going to do something special. They beat us the last four years, today's the day we're going to beat them. When we get them tired, I'm going to yell out and hit Kobe. And when I say Kobe, you guys snap into the left hand front of the and you step back and you Kobe. Very first match, we had a draw pill, we get beat, 215 pounds. Second match, my heavyweight was winning. Three to two, with 30 seconds left in the match, my heavyweight does this. 
I yell out, Kobe, Kobe does it. Snap. Left hand front head on. Watch what the guy did. The guy did what the coach said. He sprawled this leg back. But watch what my headway did. My headway did this. He stepped back. He went to hit the Kobe. The guy sprawled right there. You know what my headway did, guys? He just came right here. This hip is higher than that hip. My chest is lower than that. My headway threw the guy right to his back and pinned him. Very next match. Nick Bruschetta, he's an All-American this year, Virginia Tech, he got third in the Nationals. He wrestled for me, he pinned his guy. Then Kobe pinned his guy, and I had another guy named Zach Thomas, I pinned his guy. You guys, that day we'd be at 48 and 17. That's a bubble. Anyway, I love it. Oh, love this move, guys. We get a ton of pins off of it. One more time. Snap, this time we're coming to a left hand, front headlock, right here in the pinch position. Post the right leg, step back, shove him away. Don't let his head out, and I'm gonna explode right here. Chin comes back to his neck, look at this angle he drop. Here, I'm not driving that direction. Once I get to here, I pull it down. He hits, instantly the right hand comes up. Keep the head, guys, don't let that head slide out. Finish with this cement job. Hey guys, David Taylor and, and uh, my son, uh, Mickey, they like to do a right hand front headlock. They like to do the left hand uh, pinch, right hand front. I just don't like penetrating my left knee. My son, Mickey, Used to always come out here and tie up left hand and David Taylor. They tie up here, they snap to right here. Just do just the opposite. If you got a right hand on the chin, you got to plant your left leg. Mickey and David Taylor, they love to do it this way. All right, Mac, who you gonna do it with? Uh, Dan. Uh, yeah. Mac's gonna do a right hand front hand lock. Dan, you do a left hand. Go. Here. There. Good. Mac, do a right hand. Go. Here. Mac loves going this direction too. Again, Tan, snap, left hand front headlock, step back, Kobe, right there. You're stepping back, creating the space, Matt, do a right one. They're shooting their arm through. Good, one more, one more each. Love the move, guys. Good, one more. See how they're stepping back, creating the space? They're creating that space to get their arm to shoot through. We got it? Let's go. 